Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the oil rig of destruction and dredge. Today, we're going to get back out once again and go fish hunting because, well, the science lab needs more samples, damn it, and I don't have any of the fish that it wants the samples for. Uh, so, yes, we're going to be going to the final of the major biomes. Unfortunately, before that, though, I do need to get a pole that can fish there, so I need the infused fireproof rod, uh, and I don't have everything I need for that. I don't think actually i might hold on here what am i saying of course i do i might need a little bit of money to buy the heat resistant line though i don't think because yeah i got the tendon rods i don't think i have the heat resistant in here also a little bit of an issue i'm running out of uh inventory space as you can see i might actually need to delete some of this stuff all right so let's go see how much that heat resistant rod is it should be in the under market here and 297 dollars well spent I'll just install it. Actually, just send it to the storage. We don't need to install it on our boat. Uh, so there we go. Looks like we're going to be able to, I think, afford this right now. Whoops, wrong spot. And there's your heat-resistant rod. Oh, yeah, we have lots of money, actually. There we go. It pays to catch fish in this game, I guess. And there is our new rod. So step one done. We can at least catch the fish now. All right, so we need a volcanic, uh, a crab catch, a hadle, and a volcanic. So I do need at least one hadle rod. I don't know if this rod does hadle. We'll find out in a second here. So it does volcanic and, sh and uh, shallow. So I do need to keep with my Hadle rod on. I love how that can have actually have three rods on right now. I believe, do I have my Hadle? No, I have Mangrove. Where's my Hadle rod? Oh, crisis averted. Uh, I forgot the infused hoist is how we catch the Hadle fish with this new update. So we got everything we need on the boat right now. All right, and welcome to Devil's Spine. It doesn't even feel like daytime right now. What is that? What we need, that's what we need, perfect. All right, stock is low. Don't really care. Oh, great. Ooze is already on my vessel. I just screwed up three times. How did I... Okay, okay, stop. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I, I guess I wasn't perfect. Uh, that's a lot of ooze. All right, unfortunately, that actually wasn't one of the fish I need either. So, uh, yeah, we still need to get all four of this, these things. Oh, God, I forgot about these guys. Uh, I believe I just got to go fast, right? And then they leave me alone. Good. Great, what did I just get? What, what, what just infected me? Oh, okay. This is one of them. This is the big guy. And now I got infections on my boat, so I don't want to move because we want to make sure that's not getting infected. Okay. Oh, what do I do? Do I go back with just one fish? Because this is insane how quickly I get infected now. Okay, the giant dragon fish is actually one I need. So I do have two out of the three. I still haven't put my crab pod down either. Let's actually go do that. All right, and this is it, right? We're, 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 we're going to get it today. We're going to get it. This one's going to be right in here. Okay, we got not one, but two. That's what I'm talking about. And before I forget, let's get delete that so it doesn't infect the rest. All right, I'm just going to let those soak there because it looks like there's some good crab there. And back to the oil rig we go, hopefully for the final time of grabbing all these samples. 12 fish is enough. All right, scientists, slowly losing your mind. Here is the final of hopefully all we need. There you go. With shocking speed, he rushes towards the table, <laughs> grabbing at the corpses. Okay. Chill. The shape that bursts through the blackboard barely resembles a scientist. No longer meek and cowed. Code? Cow? I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, now a frightening visage of stretched skin and sharp teeth. And he's now eating my sea scorpion I spent so long trying to get. Thanks, buddy. His terrible head snaps up, and to lock eyes with yours, a feral cry rises from his lungs, forming an accusatory scream. With freshly born claws pointed at your direction, with limbs overcome by frantic spasms, he stumbles towards the nearest window, slowly at first, then arriving at considerable speed. <laughs> I didn't, didn't see that one coming. Did not see a scientist turn into a mutant. The aberrated form of the scientist crashes through the glass, diving out beyond the deck on the platform, down, hitting the water, then disappearing into the deep. Am I literally catching him? Is that what I'm doing now, game? It doesn't explain anything else. It's not like I can talk to my scientist buddy anymore. He's gone. He's a fish. All right, the one thing I've been wanting to buy for myself, we got to go talk to the other scientists across the map. I figured getting the material harvester makes the most sense right now. I want to get some more research points. Uh, there is a few things we can do with research points and whatnot. So, yeah, we're going to need uh, a basic trawl net for this. I don't think I own one of those. Yeah, I have my radiant trawl net, and that is it. So, uh, before anything, let's put this in here so I have some more inventory space. Is there anything else I can just store these in? I guess, yeah, it would make sense to do this. Uh, maybe getting those nets would make sense. I believe I can get materials with these flotsam traps. 
I've gotten every one of these. Is there anything in tier three I really want? Not really and not really. Okay, so yeah, we just need to go buy the basic troll net. And that is, wow, $225. I didn't actually expect it to be that much. Again, we just need to throw that in the inventory. Okay, and this gets me very excited. This is something I have wanted this whole time. There we go. And storage. Throw that in there and construct. All right, and now that that's installed, let's just double check. Visit the research in the Stellar Basin and assist the Iron Haven with the corporate rig. Um, so yeah, I guess we have to go to the Stellar Basin now. Perfect. So we'll just sleep till the morning time and see how lucrative this dredge net is for materials. Also very curious what materials it means. I really hope it's not a bunch of wood and whatnot because I have no space to store that. And yeah, just looking at the emblem down below, I don't even know if I'm going to get research with this. It looks like it is going to be uh, bolts of cloth, the metal, and planks, I think. That could be oil, though. It looks like there's an oil image there. All right, and I didn't expect it to get a whole lot. Uh, that would be very overpowered if I can get a crap load, but we just got our third right now. What do we actually get with the net? Wow, just bolts of cloth. That's a bit lame, but okay. I'm really hoping we can find some research with this. That's all I really care about. Anyways, the researchers here. About the, those defenses on the rig. I hope they work. The workers on the rig want to find a way to sabotage them. I suppose they, they're wanting it to look like an accident. Indeed. I do have a pleasantly elegant idea, actually. We don't have to sabotage the defenses in a traditional sense. If you recall, they emit a sort of word. At the moment, they're broadcasting the word flee. Oh, can we change it to come? There's a particular I've been referring to by its closest human analog, Rise. I'll prepare some blueprints for the module. You have to assemble it, slot it into the top of the black box. Anything else about those defenses? No, that's it. Okay, goodbye. Well, now we know. We got to go change the black box at the top of the rig. Yes! I just saw we do actually gain research. This is great because research is hard for me to find now. Uh, and I want to get an engine upgrade. I think I actually might have enough research with just that one piece. Uh, so I'm going to go over to our original stomping grounds. See if we can finally upgrade an engine on this thing. Because uh, I feel like it's gotten slower since I upgraded the hull. Could be me being insane though. Okay, so yeah, there's still a platform I can buy. I don't really want that though. We have more than enough fishing rods in this damn game. Uh, but yes, this engine I'm very curious about. I'm also very curious about the jet drive engine which might be faster because it only takes one slot. We also, we obviously have some pots we can invest into. And as you can see, I really haven't touched the nets at all. Uh, so yeah, as I said, there's lots of research we need. I think we're going to go for the big boy first though. I just want to get this big engine. So I'm going to spend everything that I can. And there we go. Engine stack is for sale. For $675, mind you, I can sell probably my twin engine. Uh, I can sell that for 275 i don't think i'm gonna be able to fit both on this boat obviously so yeah we'll sell that i'm just going to uninstall this for right now and store it and yeah we'll buy this big boy and throw that over here because not only can i buy that and that's an upgrade i also have this l-shaped engine which is a little bit faster than my starting ones. So that should be an upgrade as well. And then I still have room for that single jet drive engine once we get that. So there we go. I've upgraded all my engines. And yeah, I think we're just going to work towards this. I have zero research points. So yeah, we're going to need quite a few for that. But that's why I wanted this troll net. Perfect. So as we're doing other things, hopefully we can get that done as well. All right, so we'll sell some of this basic stuff that I have. I can't sell the peculiar engine for some reason. I don't remember what that thing is, but anything that's old, we may as well sell. I don't know what this sampling device is for. I think it's just a basic abyssal, but we'll keep it. All right, yeah, that should be good enough for now. I'm very excited to see how fast my boat is. It's been so long since we got an engine upgrade. So yeah, tomorrow, I guess we'll go back to the uh, uh, oil rig right now. Oh my God, this is actually insane. <laughs> What an upgrade! And I can still go faster with those jet engines. We gotta get those things. All right, defensive time. Uh, emitting droning. After finding the loose panel housing electrical guts of the tower, you pull out the blueprint for the rise module. Oh, simple, simple. I am well prepared for this. Actually, I'm not well prepared. I only have two more oil left, but we have enough. As it clicks into place, the sound from the tower changes to a deep rumble. Oh. All right, so either we're going to save the day here or there's going to be a major boss fight. He is not liking that. Yes! 
This is good, right? I mean, it feels weird because I worked very hard building this thing. <gasps> oh, I knew you wanted to save me. Or you're, or, or you're just hungry. I don't know, honestly. Uh, but yeah, my, my legs are not looking good. Looks like what's his name's getting out of here. <laughs> That's got to be him. And it looks like I'm alone with this thing. All right, the foreman stayed, though. Is everyone all right? All accounted for in the factory. Yep. Guess we'll wait for our airlifts out of here. There's no way I'm traveling anywhere by boat. Oh, man, why not? It's nice out here. The main buildings are mostly undamaged, so if you still need stuff made, we can sort you out. All right. Uh, what do we do now, though? Is that it? It looks like that's it. We actually reached the end. Oh, I thought for sure there would be a boss fight at the end. So what are we missing here? Well, the one thing we need is research parts. I would like to get these tech lab upgrades. We haven't done any of those. That will make my boat even faster. Again, there's obviously nothing we really need these for now. We've beat the game again. But I gotta assume more DLC is coming out. Uh, so I would like to work on my boat a little bit. All right, well, this kind of works out. I do want to get some crates to get some of these upgrades, too. I don't have a lot of crates left. And with my new dredge upgrade, this works very, very well because I can essentially get the research points we need as we go around the world looking for more crates again. So, yeah, got to be fully honest. I thought for sure there would be a boss fight at the end. A little bit lame that there isn't, but you got to remember this DLC is designed, as I said before, to be done as you are playing through the game so with that in mind i feel like this dlc would be great if you started the game uh fresh with it if you're already a, a a veteran though i don't know man i just i feel like it was just a bunch of fishing i mean i guess that's the point of this game though it's just a bunch of fishing so i don't know what i'm saying ignore me it was a cool update oh you know what i think can i turn these i can turn these into research points as well so one box is one research point that's actually pretty good as well. So we'll be able to do that with the net. And we can also spend the boxes to get research points. And the great thing is I can use my net to also build these boxes because we're gaining all the other materials as well. I guess, I guess except planks. That's okay. I have one in my inventory. Um, so yeah, we can basically build everything we need with the foundry. So let's just slowly go up the list. First things first, spyglass upgrade. This will allow me to mark things on the map with the spyglass. We also have the advanced foghorn. Okay, so there we go. And I should still have a couple of these in storage. Perfect. And we have all the ability enhancements. So there's tier one done. This is the one I'm more excited about, though, going up these. Can we do them? Oh, I thought we had to go up the list, but it looks like we can do whatever we want. And look at that. We have upgraded things on our list now. So now we should be able to target. Is it actually? Yeah. So I can just click and then it shows me exactly where that is. 2.6, 1.9 kilometers away, which is nice when you're in zones with a bunch of fish. Obviously, it doesn't help too much out here. Okay. And something I've wanted to do for a long time. We now have the reinforced crab pot for sale. I don't know what that does besides last for seven days. I'm assuming that's it. And that's what I wanted. I want to have a crab pot area set up for both profits as well as um, materials because we do have those new crab pots as well. Uh, the flotsam trap. All right, a little bit of a problem. I thought this guy sold nets. I guess he does. Wait, you sell? Oh, yeah, you sell them for an insane price, though. Okay, so I forgot that these guys sold um, research. Who sells the nets? I'm going to have to go somewhere else to do this, aren't I? All right, weird flex, but the only person who sells nets in this game, well, at least the basic nets, is the fishmonger. I don't know why, because you can buy everything else everywhere else. But okay, I guess that makes sense. I mean, he's the fishing guy. Oh, man, these reinforced crab pots are a lot more than I hoped for, but I do want to invest into them. Oh, wait, you know, he has one? You only have one? All right, I'm assuming it's a sleep thing. I can maybe buy one a day. Which is dumb, because I can just sleep whenever I want in this game. I don't have to wait for the day to end. Oh, look, he's got another one, because I slept. Thanks, thanks, game. All right, wait. Crap! I was, I was supposed to buy a basic crab pot. I'm so dumb sometimes. Okay, uh, that's why I came here. But I wanted to buy some of these nets, too, because I got excited. All right, there's got to be something I can sell. Well, thank God for my net. I have some goodies in here that I can sell to this guy. So that's good. Okay, and now I can buy a basic crab pot so I can get my fancy crab pots from the other guy. So we'll have to come back to the fishmonger when we get a little more richer because I do want to get a bunch of these nets. I'm assuming they'll hold more too. 
And here is your little crab pot, and we can construct that. So do I have to do that every time I want one? Yeah. Okay, so these things probably are going to be worth quite a bit. I'm very curious to see what these things do. All right, this is really perfect because it's literally right beside where I sell. Like, you can't get better than this. All right, and there is plenty in here. I just wanted to double check, so there we go. What the hell was that? Ah! I don't like that. Oh, yeah, you're a sight for sore eyes, aren't you? I figured I'd get some screenshots here of these new monsters. So, yeah, this is the coolest part of this update. Unfortunately, I haven't seen many of the monsters because I'm very cautious with how I'm moving. What the hell is that over there? What the hell just happened? All right, well, now we know. Be very careful when I'm picking up my crab pots. That place is pretty active. Okay, so we're sitting with seven research we still have five crates after i converted some of my other stuff over so yeah now we can finally get some research upgrades done well first thing i want what the hell is that though um hold on i'm gonna put the research in but there's some special item here dark splash i need those now you evil jerks okay so we're gonna have to go collect some of those very easy to collect those and that's 200 dollars right there so i'm not gonna be able to unlock a lot of these but i can at least get them when i can get enough money uh the only other one i really want is dredging speed because dredging resets if you do one error so dredging is the most important to me and we'll throw that in there and again i need more dark splash do i need dark splash for all of this i think i'm happy with those two the other thing i want is maybe one more of these oh crap i don't have the basic one with us that's right i need one more of those too but it's all right, at least we can queue this up for later. I need to go earn some money right now. And with that in mind, let's go check our nets. These better be worth some money. Take all... Are these things actually okay? Yeah, they still have five days remaining. That's right, I have upgraded ones now. Erupting Scorpion, that's new. All right, I can't fit them all. Actually, I can fit everything but one crab in here. So this is with just four nets. Let's see how much we're earning. And we'll sell all that for $375. Okay, I was hoping for a bit more, but that's not bad, considering it's effortless. So now we can just continue to invest into our industry here, because I can actually buy from her. I didn't realize I could do that, uh, which makes my life really easy. So <laughs> now I can legit just chill here, drop off any new crab pot I can afford, and get the hell out of here. I actually need to collect some of this stuff, though, so uh, probably a good thing. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here. This is so cheap. I can just sit here, sleep, because there's no downside to sleeping in this game. And I can just go out and collect my five pots now. Take all. I just got to watch, uh, make sure they're not deteriorating. We still have five days remaining on some of these. Uh, the one thing is it does get kind of glitchy if they're close together. I can't actually click the one. Uh, all right, so we're just going to have to come back here. All right, I'm going to get some more space in my inventory, too. All right, so just organizing my inventory a bit. Do I have enough money? Oh, would you look at that? Of course I do. Dude, this is actually insane. This feels very cheap. And plop another one in there. I don't even remember what is what now. I just got to pay attention to repairing these. That's all. Pick up. Oh, no, I don't want to pick up the pot. Damn it. That's okay. I can just drop it again. <laughs> what the hell? I got research in that one, too. What the hell? These get research? This is too good. Truly too good. Okay. Good night again. I can't believe how insanely good this is. There we go. We got a special one, so we'll take all there. Uh, I'm I'm happily taking this damage as well because I need these little blobs. Actually, I think we have enough now. So let's get out of here. Just sell off my second catch of the day. <laughs> I can't believe. I thought this would be good, but not this good. I was like... $800 just in that little run there. And I still haven't had to repair my pots because they're the best ones in the game now. All right, we'll go back over and get some of these upgrades now because we have enough money. All right, so here's your goopy goops. Thank you very much. I will construct that. And I guess I just have to keep these in my inventory. So that was the first one. We got the second one. And then we have our other goop for this one as well. I hope I'm doing this right and these don't have to go somewhere. Status says operational, so that tells me it's good, right? Uh, so we only need three more. They're not that helpful, but I will gladly upgrade my ship if I can. Let's go earn some more money crabbing. I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, and it's good to be back. Uh, so yes, we're going to be investing heavily. Actually, did I get enough experience? Actually, I don't think I have enough research. That's fine, though. Uh, before anything, let's actually go to the generator. 
Get rid of some of these guys. $89 for that. Next thing we'll unlock is the reverse gear. Uh, how many of these do I have? Oh, I only have two. That's a bit lame, but that's okay. All right, so we need one more uh, to at least get all these things. We're going to get the heat sink next. Construct that. I wish there was a slot for all these things, but I mean, it's nice that they're so small. I can just stack them together here. And finally, I just want to see, do I have the research? No, I need one research as well. Uh, that's fine. All right, and this makes me kind of sad, but that is it. We have done everything in this new DLC, I believe. Unless there's some secrets. There usually is some secrets that I probably missed. Uh, but there we go. We have a lot of new upgrades for our boat. We already got the hull upgrade. I'm just double checking. Factory. Uh, I guess the one thing we didn't do is go into tier 3 and tier 4 bait and repair tech. But that's stuff that really doesn't help me. They're not upgrades. They're just side grades. So yeah, that is it. We are done with this DLC. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the iron rig with me. Gotta be honest, a little bit of a letdown at the ender there, but really fun working my way up to building this thing. And as I said before, if you started off the game fresh with this DLC, I think it would be so much more enjoyable because so much more is going on as you are doing this DLC on these waters. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. We are well prepped for any new DLC that might come out in the future in this game. I really hope there is a little bit of new DLC. Maybe some end game DLC would be nice, you know, an actual boss fight. Uh, but yeah, we can dream, I guess. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoy checking out Dredge once again. It truly was one of my favorite games of last year and uh, it holds up. It's still super fun and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one.